guys and welcome to another Female Filmmaker Friday. My name is Kate Hackett and today we are going to be talking about stress during filmmaking. First up, I want to say a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash Kate Hackett. You guys make videos like this one and others possible, so thank you so much. If you are not a patron and you want to join, visit patreon.com slash Kate Hackett. This question comes from one of my patrons actually and he asks, what is the best way you've found to handle the stress that pops up during filmmaking? So of course you're going to be stressed out during filmmaking even though best case scenario you're hanging out with people you really like and you're making something you're really excited and passionate about, things still happen. There's a lot of money at stake, things go wrong, you can't plan for everything, so inevitably it will happen and I think just accepting that is super important. I personally tend to get more stressed out before we're on set, so during pre-production. I have a friend who says fix it in pre-pro and that's kind of my mentality as well. I have a very East Coast Irish person approach to pre-production and that is it's only gonna last a couple of weeks so just like work really hard and get it done and it's over soon and put your head down and just barrel through it. Obviously, the solution here is get help. Delegate. Ask for people to chip in. For the long dig, I tagged my lovely, amazing, very good friend Dana and I said, can you do crafty for me? Because I can't do it. I have too many other plates spinning. And she, of course, said yes. Asking for help, I think, is the best way to get around feeling like, holy crap, the entire weight of this production is on my shoulders. It's not. You have a team, that's why you hired people. So delegate. Once you're actually on set, things kind of are what they are. That's my air conditioning. It's really hot here right now. Getting upset about anything going wrong doesn't really help anybody. That's not to say that tempers don't pop up, of course they do. But on the whole, it's important to remember that, you know, this is what it is. And if you approach problems with a let's fix it, let's solve it, instead of whose fault is this, I think that goes such a long way and that's also just like good set behavior. If you can't put out a fire, you want to find a way around the fire. Can you get an extra light to do the thing with the stuff? Yes? Great. Go do that. Uh, you just want to keep things very matter of fact, very simple. There's, there's no, hopefully, there shouldn't be a lot of egos flying around. It's not about you. It's not you personally when things go wrong. It's just things go wrong. I really like the question, can I work my way around this? I am also a huge fan of cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT. Uh, there are things called thought journals that you can fill out. I'll try to remember to link it. Uh, you can fill them out whenever you feel overwhelmed and it walks you through like what is the feeling? What am I thinking? What's happening in this moment? What's the evidence for this feeling? Like, why is that correct? What's the evidence against it? And what's a more balanced thought? And I think that's a really great way to put your stress on pause for a second and make sure that it's worth stressing about because most things really, really aren't. I also really recommend turning your brain off. I find books very good for that or television or video games or whatever helps you decompress at the end of something, go do that. You don't want to be an autonomous, autonom a, a robot. You don't want to be a robot. You want to be able to like pause and just be a human being and not worry about all of the stuff that I'm sure you are worried about if you are watching this video. Ultimately, however, knowing how you handle stress is a super personal thing. So I really advise you to take stock of yourself and figure out what works for you. Find what works, embrace it. That's it for Female Filmmaker Friday today. I hope you guys like this quick how I handle on set slash pre-pro stress. If you did, please visit patreon.com slash Kate Hackett where I've got more videos and cool BTS and lots of stuff for the long dig all ready for you. Bye. This particular video was made possible by Walter Hackett. Thank you so much for being my Patreon supporter at patreon.com slash Kate Hackett.